Good morning children. Welcome to today's online class of mathematics. Today we will cover chapter 11 measurement of mass. In this chapter we will cover the following subtopics. Non-standard units of measuring weight, standard unit of measuring weight and word problems based on measurement of weight. Children, first of all you should know what is mass. Mass is the amount of matter or substance that makes up an object. It is commonly measured by how much something weighs. Let's start with the non-standard arbitrary units of measuring weight. Children, non-standard units of measurement are those units which are not typically used for measurement. Marbles, wooden blocks, chalk sticks, etc. are non-standard arbitrary units of measuring weight if we measure the weight of a particular object by using two different non-standard units then the two answers will be different for example if we measure the weight of an apple using marbles and chalk sticks then the two answers will be different So children these non standard arbitrary units are not typically used for measurement Now let's discuss the standard unit of measuring weight Standard units of measurement are the units which are typically used within each metric system The standard unit of measuring weight is kilogram The short form of kilogram is kg the small weights are measured in grams and the short form of gram is g 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams children these are the pictures of different weights that are used by people like 1 kg 2 kg 5 kg 10 kg etc Now let's start our last topic that is word problems based on measurement of mass These word problems are given on book page number 131 Question number 5 Three bags of salt weigh 98 kg 90 kg and 56 kg find their total weight Here it is given that three bags of salt weigh ninety-eight kilograms, ninety kilograms, and fifty-six kilograms. Now we have to find out their total weight. So write down the statements first. Weight of first bag is equal to ninety-eight kilograms. Weight of second bag is equal to ninety kilograms. Weight of third bag is equal to fifty-six kilograms. Now total weight of three bags is equal to ninety eight kilograms plus ninety kilograms plus fifty six kilograms. Now we will add ninety eight kilograms, ninety kilograms, and fifty six kilograms, and the answer is two hundred forty four kilograms. So. the total weight of three bags is equal to 244 kilograms question number 6 kanika bought 4 kilograms 250 grams rice harjeet bought 3 kilograms 500 grams rice how much rice did they buy all together here it is given that both kanika and harjeet bought rice now we have to find out how much rice did they buy all together so write down the statements first weight of rice kanika bought is equal to 4 kg 250 g weight of rice harjeet bought is equal to 3 kg 500 g total weight of rice bought is equal to 4 kg 250 g plus 3 kg 500 g 
now we have to add so the answer is 7 kilograms 750 grams children don't forget to write down the units when you are adding grams write down the unit grams and when you are adding kilograms that is 4 and 3 then the right answer is 7 kilograms so the answer is 7 kilograms 750 grams rice now question number 8 Madhav bought 47 kilograms of mangoes Sumit bought 39 kilograms of mangoes who bought more mangoes and how much children here it is given that Madhav and Sumit bought mangoes we have to find out who bought more mangoes and how much let's write down the statements first weight of mangoes Madhav bought is equal to 47 kilograms weight of mangoes Sumit bought is equal to 39 kilograms here it is clear that Madhav bought more mangoes now we have to find out how much more mangoes did Madhav buy so the difference is 47 kilograms minus 39 kilograms by subtraction we will find out that 47 kilograms minus 39 kilograms is equal to 8 kilograms so the answer is Madhav bought 8 kilograms more mangoes than Sumit question number 13 a lady bought 5 kilograms 800 grams vegetables she used 2 kilograms 500 grams how much vegetables are left here it is given that a lady bought 5 kilograms 800 grams vegetables and she used 2 kilograms 500 grams now we have to find out how much vegetables are left so write down the statements weight of vegetables bought is equal to 5 kilograms 800 grams weight of vegetables used is equal to 2 kilograms 500 grams now the difference is 5 kilograms 800 grams minus 2 kilograms 500 grams the answer is 3 kilograms 300 grams children again don't forget to write down the units so the answer is 3 kilograms 300 grams vegetables that's all for today thank you stay home stay safe